Hey guys, welcome to another Ancestry album video and probably my last video for a while. There are issues I need to take care of before I can make more videos. But when I come back, I may have a nice little surprise for you guys. Anyway, today I will be covering the first versatile heritage, the Changeling. Versatile heritages are a lot like the half-orc and half-elf heritages under the human ancestry. Except that these are a lot less common than those two. You will essentially choose an ancestry such as dwarf, human, or rat folk. Then instead of choosing one of the heritages under that ancestry, you will select the versatile heritage such as the one I will cover in this video. That does not mean you cannot be a forged dwarf that also happens to be a changeling, but if you take that route, then the changeling heritage overshadows the forged dwarf heritage me mechanically, so you will not receive the benefits of the Forged Dwarf Heritage instead of receiving the benefits of the Changeling Heritage. So if you want to go that route, it would really be more of a roleplay thing and not a mechanics thing. Changelings are the offspring of a hag mother and a father of a different ancestry. For those of you who don't know what a hag is, think of those really ugly witches you sometimes see in movies. Those are hags. Most of the time what happens is, a hag will kidnap a man and have his child, then abandon it usually. That does not mean you, that you don't get to decide how your character came into being though. It is your story to tell after all. Just make sure you get your GM's approval beforehand. Changeling usually have one eye like their mother's, which will depend on the type of hag their mother was. They also sometimes hear the call the psychic summons of their hag mothers. They usually dread this as it urges them to come back and become a hag themselves. Mechanically, the changeling heritage grants the changeling trait as well as low light vision, unless your father's ancestry already had low light vision, in which case you gain dark vision instead. Also, like the half-orc and the half-elf heritages, you can select changeling feats as well as the feats available to your father's ancestry. Let's get started with first level changeling feats. First we have the Brine May feat. This feat has the lineage trait, which means that you only get one feat with this trait because it has to do with the kind of hag your mother was. This trait will be on other feats in other versatile heritages as well, and you always only get to choose one of these feats, no matter the situation, and you must take it at first level if you're going to take it at all. Also, you cannot retrain into or out of this feat. Your mother was a sea hag, granting you one sea green or blue eye. You find comfort both in the sea and on the shore. Whenever you roll a success on an athletics check to swim, you get a critical success instead. If you end your turn in water without having succeeded on a swim action that round, you don't sink, but you might still be moved by the current. Changeling wizards, this is for you. Don't die from water, yay! <laughs> Next is the Calomay feat. This is another feat with the lineage trait, so you couldn't choose this and the Brian May feat. You are among the most common of changelings, those born to green hags, and a vibrant green eye signifies that parentage. Your mother's manipulative nature and versatile voice give you an edge when deceiving others. You gain the charming liar skill feat. If you roll deception for initiative, Foes in that combat encounter that haven't acted yet are flat-footed against you. So you and the rogue can beat up foes together. <laughs> Third is Changeling Lore. This is just like other lore feats. You become trained in both deception and occultism, as well as hag lore. Pretty standard feat. Dream May is another feat with the lineage trait. You are the child of a night hag making one of your eyes violet or even black. Your mother's powers over sleep and dreams have given you a degree of resistance to those effects, granting you a plus two circumstance bonus to all saving throws against sleep effects, 
and effects that cause or alter dreams. In addition, sleep is more restorative for you. You regain hit points equal to your constitution modifier times double your level instead of just times your level. And when you sleep, you reduce any drained or doomed conditions you have by two instead of one. I personally love this feat. If I were to play a changeling, this would be the lineage I would take. Just because of the more hit points back while, when resting. The sleep effects and dreams thing is just a bonus in my book. Fifth is the last lineage feat, Slag May. Your mother was an Anis hag, known for physical prowess, and you have one violet or steel gray eye. You have thick, sturdy claws made of cold iron that grow naturally from your body. You, have, you gain a claws unarmed attack that deals 1d6 slashing damage. Your claws are in the brawling group, have the unarmed and grapple traits, and are cold iron. This feat is really good. It just gives you claws, but what makes this feat amazing is that they're cold iron at level 1. Huge. You normally don't get cold iron anything until at least level 2, and that's low grade. This would be standard grade, I would rule, and you normally can't get that until level 7. This would be good against phase and demons. So if you know you might be facing that type of thing, this is the feat for you. Hag Claws just gives you the lesser version of the feat I just covered. When you came of age, your fingernails grew long and sharp. You gain a Claws Unarmed Attack that deals 1d4 slashing damage. Your Claws are in the Brawling Group and have the Agile Finesse and Unarmed Traits. Note that Hag Claws can develop at any point in a Changeling's life, allowing you to select this feat any time you would gain an Ancestry feat. Once you have it, you're stuck with it. Honestly, if you want Claws, you're much better off taking the Lineage feat and not this one. But if you want to take a different Lineage feat and get Claws, this is the way to do it. The last first level feat for Changelings is the Hag Sight feat. You just gain Dark Vision. That's it. This feat is mainly for those changelings with fathers of ancestries that don't get low light vision already. So that any changeling can get dark vision. Now let's talk about 5th level feats, starting with called. No flavor text here. You have heard the call, and in constantly resisting that persistent demand, you've developed a, a mental bulwark against effects that would target your mind. You gain a plus one circumstance bonus to will saving throws against mental effects. Because you're constantly trying to resist that call, right? If you roll a success on your saving throw against a mental effect that would make you controlled, you get a critical success instead. Lastly, for fifth level feats, we have Mist Child. You blend in with unnatural subtlety. When you are concealed or hidden, increase the DC of the flat check to target you by 6 of your concealed or 12 of your hidden. Really good for that changeling rogue or ranger. Moving on to 9th level feats, we have Accursed Claws. If you have a Claws unarmed attack, then when you critically hit with them, you also deal 1d4 persistent mental damage. Good for that wild druid. Transform into a bear and you get this. Occult Resistance just gives you a plus one circumstance bonus to saves against all occult effects. This includes any occult spells that you run into. So if you run into that bard or occult sorcerer who likes his spells, guess what? You're resistant to them. <laughs> and now we come to the last feat for changelings, the 13th level feat, Hag Magic. Choose one common spell of 4th level or lower from those available to a coven including the spells contributed to a coven by a hag of your mother's type. You can cast this spell once per day as a 4th level occult innate spell. Spells available to all covens are Augury, Charm, Clairaudience, Clairvoyance, Dream Message, and Illusory Disguise. The eligible spells granted by the most prominent types of hags are Sea Hag, Acid Arrow, and Water Walk. For green hags, you get access to Entangle, Outcast Curse, and Wall of Thorns. Anis hags get Earthbind, 
and night hags get nightmare. Unlike most spells you get from an ancestry feat, most of these spells are only useful once per day. Are you going to get much use out of a once per day charm? Probably not. But a once per day wall of thorns can be combat changing, maybe even combat winning. You probably only need nightmare once per day, if that. And a once per day will opening this door be bad is probably one of the better spells on this list. Changelings sound cool, but honestly, I don't know if I'm interested in them quite yet. One thing I do like about them is that they are no longer just females. You can have male changelings now. But the truth is, if I were to play a changeling, I would probably play a, play a female one. I love playing female characters in truth. I know it's weird for a guy to want to play a female character, but something about it just makes me love it. Anyway, that's going to wrap up this video. As I said before, this will probably be my last video for a while, but you can check out the other videos on my channel if you want while you wait. Also, make sure you still ask me any questions you have on any of my videos or on the Pathfinder Lair Facebook group. Link in the description. I'm still trying to do a video on your guys' questions, but I need questions before I can do that, so ask away. It would really help me out. So until next time, Let's play some Pathfinder. One, two, three, four.